Hello, you guys. This is um, the last skill checklist, checklist 30, y'all. Even though it took me over a month to do it, it I just felt it in my heart to, um, even though y'all yeah, know I do my all my videos and stuff like that, I just felt it in my heart to um, put seeing that stuff on here, stuff I learned and, you know, stuff that with people, you know, questions or anything people might want to know, they can just look at this stuff that I learned. So, yeah. This is checklist 30, the last one, the right of residence, infection control, and safety of residence. And the equipment you would need is none. You will need none because it's all about you. And how you approach the resident and introduce yourself. Yeah, I just felt it in my heart to just um, put some CNA stuff on here. And like I, I know I put privacy, then wash hands. Provide privacy throughout all procedures. Provide safety throughout all procedures. Provide adequate time for the residents to act. Do not rush. Provide comfort throughout all procedures. Ask the resident if he or she needs anything else before leaving his or her space. Leave the safety call system within reach. Make observations and reports to supervise effectively. Skill checklist continued. Always perform hand hygiene upon completion of care resident. Number 21, important hygiene and is how to reflect professionalism. Always do hand hygiene with soap and water at beginning and end of shift. And this is important too. Knock and say hello, close curtain, check locks on bed. And I thank you guys. Next, I will just be going back to just um, having a little CNA questions every now and then. Um, yeah. But like I said, it's the last skill, skill 30, and it took me like over a month to do it, and I'm glad I'm done. That was one of my goals I had wanted to do. Okay, love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed day.